you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Lisa, Chef Wannabe. How's everybody doing today? This is a little bit of a different view, huh? Um, this is not a down-home magazine uh, day. Um, this is just me in the bathtub. And the reason I am doing this video is because, you guys, my back went out. Yeah. So it actually went out yesterday. And, uh, but I didn't stop doing anything. I kept doing laundry. I kept doing the dishes. I kept shopping. I kept my dinner date with my girlfriends. And I kept doing everything, even though my back was just shit. Anyway, by yesterday evening, after having oh. a couple glasses of wine, um, I thought I was feeling pretty good. So I went to bed. And uh, when I woke up this morning, well, actually all through the night, I kept waking up. Every time I tried to turn or move or pull a blanket or whatever, and I'm like, oh, and I felt my back just getting worse and worse through the night. Anyway, when I got up, oh, by the way, it's only like 8.30 in the morning. I've been up for probably an hour and a half. Anyway, I got up, and when I got up, I could barely get up. Like, I rolled out of the bed, you guys. I moaned and groaned and huffed and puffed. <laughs> My husband's uh, studio is right next door to the bedroom and he had his headphones on and stuff and he was he was already up. He gets up early. And uh, anyway, I got to the door and I'm holding myself up on the door jam. <laughs> and he says, what's up? And I said, oh, my back is out. And anyway, he uh, he got me some Robaxa set. Uh, he got me the big, big body vibrator thingy. Uh, he ran me a bath. God love him. He made me tea. Here's my tea. Look at my beautiful mug. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yes, so he made me tea. This is peppermint tea. From Tim Hortons. Yes, from Tim Hortons. You guys, the large tea and the extra large tea, you, get, you actually get... Um, Two bags, so I always ask for one bag on the side, so I always have a spare. I know the lighting is really shitty in here, hey? It's kind of like, it's like dark, like, ooh. Especially with these eyes. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, so I, I took the Robaxa set. I think actually it's a knockoff brand. I'm probably gonna get him to go shopping for me after and get me, get me something different, perhaps. I don't know, it's a muscle relaxant, so I am feeling a little bit better. Um, I was going to give someone a massage today and I had to call her and cancel and I feel really bad about that but you guys if you can barely move how can you how can you make somebody feel better like it's terrible right anyway anyway let's just move on um, and thank you dear friend for being okay with me canceling thank you thank you thank you <laughs> um, anyway um, a couple things I just want to tell you guys so I've gotten a uh, a really really sweet email and uh, from someone from someone and uh, they basically were saying that they really enjoy how diverse my my channel is because I'm all over the place with so many different things and stuff and I you, you guys I felt so good so good and I read a sweet little email back and just I just feel really good about that so thank you, thank you, thank you. You know who you are. I really appreciate that. I showed it to my husband and he's like, oh, that's really nice. And I said, should I, should I message back? Cause like, you know, sometimes you're like, ah, oh, I don't, you know, is this okay? And, and he's like, yeah, it sounds, sounds like a pretty decent person. Why don't you write him back? So I did. So anyway, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, listen. So I am, oh, and it's my lower back, you guys, not my upper back. That's why I'm I'm moving just great right now um, because my lower back, my lower spine, oh, my erector spinae, which is my the long muscle that goes right down both sides of your spine. It's actually two or three, maybe two. I can't remember now, you guys. It's been a while since I did my massage therapy. Um, but anyway, the erector spinae, if you want to look that up, it's a huge, huge, huge set of muscles going down your back and uh, helps support your spine and it, 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 it supports us being erect, which is why it's called erector spinae. Yeah. Anyway, that is what is going on with me. It's my lower portion on both sides. And uh, yeah, I'm really messed up. I think what happened was 
a couple days ago, I went and got my nails done. You guys remember those crazy ass yellow nails? The long, long, long ones? They were gold actually, but anyway, um, I got my nails redone. And while I was getting my nails done, um, it took a while, right? I also got a pedicure done at the same time. Here are my toes. Oh, same color. Oh, can you see? <laughs> anyway, another crazy ass so now, right? And I don't know. Anyway, you guys, so um, the whole time, pretty much while I was there getting my nails done, um, I was kind of, I was sort of facing her, but putting my nail there. So I was kind of turning and I was watching my show, like I was watching a movie while I was there. And I think because I held that position for so long, I think that's what happened. You guys, my ne my back never gives out, like rarely, rarely ever. I think one one day for a few hours when I was at work, my back was like, ooh, what's going on? And uh, my buddy at work, he's like, don't worry, don't worry, just relax a little bit and whatever. And, and I'm like, uh, so I relaxed for a little bit and then I'm like, no, I can't do this. And I just went to work and the muscle worked its way out, you guys. But yesterday I thought with me moving and everything like that, that it would be fine, you know, like I work it out and stuff. Oh man. Jesus. Yeah, that did not happen yesterday. But anyway, yeah. So in case you're wondering what I'm munching on, these are red onions. I love red onions, you guys. Look, they're so pretty. Um, and I have some dipping sauce here. But what I'm actually eating is so one of my girlfriends yesterday, we went to, look at that. Yes, tub mukbang. <laughs> <coughs> we went to um, Fuji's in Fort McMurray. And I love Fuji's, F-U-J-I-S, you guys. And our favorite waiter was there. His name is Vince, Vincent. And he's actually, he was just in one of the magazines. <coughs> Was it a magazine or was it just online? I think it was on Facebook, but it was actually in a magazine, but it went on Facebook, they were talking about it. Anyway, it's basically saying that he's one of the best um, waiters in town. <laughs> and he's so sweet. I'll see if I can post a picture up here for you guys. Yeah, anyway, he's adorable. And uh, so anyway, these things here are deep fried spicy tuna roll well done, you guys. So you know how I am about the raw food, right? The raw fish, raw seafood. So I first started getting these spicy tuna rolls with my girlfriend, Sandy, and uh, <clears throat> I had to ask for it to be cooked because I was, I, I did, I did have it like way, 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 way back when. And, um, but I really enjoy it this way. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And anyway, this is the way I usually get it now. And my son does the same thing. He really enjoys it too. But anyway, now my friend, friend Carrie, her little man, her little boy, he likes these too. So every time I order, I always give him one or two or whatever, whatever he wants. And so anyway, I have these left over and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have these for breakfast. Oh, and on the side here, I have some spicy mayo. Uh, mm -hmm. And I also have some ponzu sauce in, in a little dish. It's, it's black stuff here. Ooh, ooh, can you see it right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like a soy sauce, vinegar, <clears throat> maybe a bit of sugar put in there. Really, really tasty, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I also brought some flyers. Oh, did I just drop something in the tub? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, I gotta go shopping for clothes. Well, I have lots of tops, shirts, sweaters, jackets, and stuff. But the, for the life of me, I can't figure out where the hell all my pants go. And <clears throat> last night I went to bed with my, um, what are those things called? 
um, leggings. I guess they're kind of like clam diggers. You guys remember clam diggers from way back when? Anyway, um, yeah. So anyway, I took them off to get in the bathtub. Freaking all kinds of holes in the crotch. Like what the hell? You guys, they're probably my favorite. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Oh. I did drop something in the tub. Oh, it's onion. Ha ha. Ah, onion. <laughs> Look how long my hair is. That's crazy. I love it, you guys. Oh, I must have some. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> mm. Oh, tea, yes. Mm. So you guys, one of the other reasons that I went out yesterday, I had to go out, is because that is my toe on the tub. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, the reason, one of the big reasons I had to go out was because um, I went on Facebook and I asked everybody and anybody if they wanted to uh, go in on the $17 million lottery here in, in Canada for Lotto Max. Yeah, and so what happened was last time around, maybe two times, two times I think, it the big lottery didn't go for Lotto Max. So it starts... I believe it starts at 50 million and then it went to 60 million and then it went to 70 million for last night. And I believe the draw was at 10.30 last night. But anyway, uh, I can't remember exactly how many of us are in the draw, but I bought $320 worth of tickets. Now, some people, they wanted to buy two entries or whatever, so they gave me $20, which is fine because my husband and I did the same thing. Um, anyway, uh, I went out and I bought all the tickets. So, so you guys, I have a big stack of tickets. So we might be like super, super millionaires. Yeah. So yeah, I took pictures of all the tickets. I signed them all and I signed them as a group and stuff like that for, uh, yesterday's date. And, uh, I took pictures of the, the like I put them on the floor and there was like 10, 10 and 12 or something like that. Anyways, I took pictures of all of it and posted it last night. So today I'm going to go out and I'm going to check all the, all the tickets. Yeah. So next video, I might be a millionaire. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> did I tell you guys I made my appointment in Costa Rica to get my tattoos filled in? I think I did. I think I did, yeah. I think that... Did I? Did I post that video yet? Which video was that? Oh. So, in the oven right now. I'm probably going to do an ASMR video. Um, because... Oh my god, I love these red onions. Um, I have some ribs. Bison ribs. Ah, bison ribs from... Was it Clearwater? A town, it's a town down south, Clearwater or Redwater? Anyway, some fellow named George, he has like a, this huge, huge industrial freezer and he sells all this meat. And it's on the way from Edmonton to Fort McMurray. And anyway, I went there and I bought bison ribs, elk ribs, um, moose tongue, um, bison heart, a couple other things anyway I gotta call him and find out something because I asked about something and if if I can get what it is I want that's gonna be an awesome video <laughs> yeah 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 <sighs> but anyway yeah so I got the ribs bison ribs currently in the oven right now baking and uh I actually cooked them yesterday for my husband and he said they were kind of chewy. So, um, how did I cook them? I boiled them, oh, well, I boiled them and I broiled them. But he said they were kind of chewy. So I thought, well, I don't really want like chewy and rubbery on my video. So I threw it in the oven at 
400 degrees and I put it in there for about an hour, but I'm probably gonna, gonna increase it by probably half an hour. And then it should be okay. It should be easy to get off the bone and it won't be so rubbery and stuff like that. So it'll be better. Oh my God, I'm at 15 minutes. How many edits am I gonna have in this video? Maybe none. This one's working out pretty good, hey? Yeah. Usually I cut a lot. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it's like dead air and stuff, you know, and you're just like sitting there like looking at the camera like. <laughs> or you're trying to think of something or a word or something like that and you can't think of it. And you're just like. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You guys. Some people don't like finger lickers. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching the video. Please share. <laughs> Please tell everybody how much you hate finger lickers. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm feeling better already, you guys. I think that, that knockoff Robaxa set is working. Oh, I thought that was my hair. There. Did you guys notice my mushroom? Look at my cute mushroom. Yeah. Okay, well, um, what else can I talk about today? Oh my God, the weather. So right now we have this wicked weather uh, warning here in Fort McMurray. Actually, it's for majority, I think, of Alberta. It's really bad right now, you guys. It's like minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is really shitty. And uh, when there's a wind chill, if the wind is blowing, it feels, it isn't, but it feels even colder. So sometimes if it's <clears throat> minus 30 and we've got a really good gust of wind going, it could feel like minus 50, you guys, and your skin just gets Oh, they say 10 seconds out in, what is it? 10 seconds out in 30 below or something, your skin will freeze or something. You got this dress for the weather, holy crapper. There's so many people, so many people, including myself yesterday, because I couldn't put my jacket on, that are just wearing like sweaters and stuff in this shitty weather, yeah. Wear a sweater in shitty weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyways, you guys, um, I'm going to finish my bath and maybe have a little bit more to eat. It's at 17 minutes and 46, 47, 48, 47. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, take care, you guys. I hope everybody is well and stay warm. Bye, guys. Ooh.